For photographers looking to capture fast action or high speed motion cleanly, understanding the difference between global shutter and rolling shutter camera sensors is critical. In this video, we're going in depth about the global shutter versus rolling shutter and try to understand everything we need to know about these sensors. In a rolling shutter camera, the image sensor captures each frame progressively line by line. Starting at the top of the sensor, each row is turned on, exposed, and read out in sequence until the entire frame is captured. This means the top lines of the image are recorded slightly earlier than the bottom lines. At fast shutter speeds, this time difference is negligible. But with fast subject movement or camera pans, it causes distortions like skewing or wobble, the jello effect. Rolling shutters are common as they're less expensive to make than global shutters, but the trade-off is they limit capturing very fast motion cleanly, especially with wider lenses. A global shutter sensor exposes the entire frame simultaneously. This means all parts of the image are captured at precisely the same instant. Rather than progressive scanning, a global shutter reads the whole sensor at once after exposing the full frame. This eliminates distortions inherent in rolling shutters. By freezing the entire scene instantly, global shutters offer crystal sharpness when photographing subjects in rapid motion. This makes them ideal for applications like sports, wildlife, and other fast action. Global shutters offer distinct advantages, such as distortion-free captures with no skew and wobble, ideal for sports and wildlife photography. They excel in freezing fast motion, ensuring a superior flash sync and eliminating partial exposure artifacts. However, the technology comes with drawbacks, including increased sensor complexity, higher costs, and limitations in resolution and frame rates. On the other hand, rolling shutters are more cost-effective and offer higher resolution and frame rates, particularly suitable for portraits, landscapes, and slow-motion video. Despite backside illumination benefits, rolling shutters suffer from distortion artifacts and limitations in capturing extremely fast motion, making them less suitable for certain applications. While the A9 III stands as a pinnacle in the evolution of camera technology, introducing the revolutionary global shutter that promises to redefine the landscape of digital photography. This cutting edge feature opens the door to a future where motion distortion artifacts are relegated to history, offering a tantalizing glimpse into what lies ahead for high-end cameras. As sensor fabrication techniques continue to advance, it is anticipated that the global shutter will become the standard in top-tier cameras, further solidifying its place as a transformative innovation in the realm of photography. Gone will be the days of compromising image quality due to motion-related issues, as the global shutter paves the way for distortion-free captures. While early full-frame global shutters exemplified by the A9 III may exhibit slightly lower resolution or frame rates compared to their rolling shutter counterparts, the relentless pace of technological progress assures that these gaps will swiftly narrow. Photographers, especially those who specialize in fast-paced subjects like sports or wildlife, will find cameras like the A9 III to be a dream come true, offering crisp and distortion-free images that herald the new era in digital photography. At the heart of the A9-3's technological prowess is Sony's newly developed stacked CMOS sensor, a groundbreaking achievement as the first 35mm full-frame camera to incorporate a global shutter. The 24.2 megapixel Exmor RS sensor, with its integral memory facilitating instantaneous readout crucial for the global shutter, brings medium format level resolution and image quality to the forefront. This is complemented by sensor stabilization enabling blackout-free capture at an impressive 120 fps. The a 93s global shutter, with a remarkable 180,000th maximum mechanical shutter speed, or 160,000th electronically, emerges as a true game-changer for photography enthusiasts, particularly those engaged in sports, wildlife, motorsports, and other high-speed activities. 
Sony's relentless pursuit of sensor advancements effectively erases the limitations imposed by rolling shutters, empowering professionals to capture decisive moments with unprecedented clarity and precision, truly making the A9 III a formidable tool for the discerning photographer. Ultimately, the choice between a global shutter and a rolling shutter depends on the specific needs of your photography or videography. If you're focused on fast-paced action, sports, or wildlife photography, where distortion artifacts and precise timing are crucial, a global shutter is recommended for its distortion-free captures and superior motion freezing capabilities. On the other hand, if you're engaged in activities like portrait photography, landscapes, or slower-paced video production, where cost-effectiveness and higher resolution are priorities, a rolling shutter may suffice. Consider your specific use case, budget constraints, and the type of motion you aim to capture when making the decision between these shutter technologies. Hopefully, you can find this video helpful, and if you have any queries, do let us know in the comments section below. Consider subscribing for more content like this, and as always, thanks for watching.